Hey, good morning everyone. It is wake up time with Winter and Hope here at Clearwater Marine Aquarium. I'm Bill Potts and I'm here with Julia. And of course, as you know, the girls, Winter and Hope. And we have Hope right now, as you can see, we're here for some enrichment. And interestingly, Hope seems to love to play with this water. And you wonder, is she drinking it? The answer is no, she is not drinking it. She just likes the way it feels in her mouth. There you go, sweetie. There you go. Oh. That's, there you go. There you go. There you go. Now, Bill here is actually working on his relationship with the animals. Having fun enrichment is important for their stimulation. It's also important for our relationships. So Bill's not out here every day like I am, so we gotta make him valuable. If he came out here every day and they didn't wanna hang out, we wouldn't have a very good live video, would we? No, but I sure would love to hang out every day <laughs> with you, Julia. Julia is one of our animal care specialists with a background in biology, so she has a great relationship with all the animals here, especially with uh, Winter and Hope. Now you can see Winter there playing with one of her favorite toys that's actually a calm toy. So similar to what you give your dogs, um, Winter for some reason loves it. You may see her hold it in her mouth, play with it. We actually have many, many calm toys. We're always giving those to her because they're really fun. And actually, Bill, she's giving you her nub so you can squirt her. Oh, there, there, that's what she likes. <laughs> Unlike Hope, she just likes a deep tissue massage with that water. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, sweetie. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Now, you may have heard me call Winter and Hope the girls. That is our affectionate nickname for these two wonderful Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. And Julia, tell me the value of enrichment. What, uh, what, what are you trying to accomplish uh, here with them? Absolutely. So we use positive reinforcement training. So everything that we ask for animals to do is voluntary. And we have to find out what they seem to enjoy. Now, of course, they enjoy getting lots and lots of fish. Uh, they get a very large diet. Um, Winter eats 12 pounds every day. Hope eats 14 pounds every day. Uh, so that's one way to give them value in our sessions. But they also, like I mentioned, enjoy other things. Maybe water, maybe their favorite toys. And so adding value in their life is really important because all the things that we train them to make sure they stay healthy and exercise and stimulated is all voluntary on their part. So we have to be meaningful, we have to learn what they enjoy, and enrichment is a big part of that. Because just like you and me, they don't eat their food all day long. We have meals, sometimes we're really full, we need breaks from our diet, and our hunger comes and goes. And that's the same thing with these girls right here. So um, having that value and other types of ways to interact is really important uh, when we are uh, interacting with them each and every day. As I mentioned, it's also good for them to be stimulated. So similar to when we're in school, we have recess time, right? That helps you exercise on your free time, get out of the classroom, burn some energy. Same for these guys. They get recessed throughout the day as well too. So it's not always learning new behaviors or, or engaging in training sessions. Sometimes it's just fun in recess, as you can see both of them enjoying right now. You know, for our audience, does anybody want to let us know what types of fish that Winter and Hope are eating. We'll give you a little bit of while to respond and then uh, Julia will give you the answer that, that any of the three types of fish that Winter and Hope will be eating this morning. <laughs> All right, Julia, they're ready for the answer. The answer All right. is. So we have a couple different species. These girls here eat three different species. Now these okay. first ones are the smallest. These are called silver sides. Uh, now these are sort of like dolphin M&Ms. They're really nice little bite-sized treats and they can gobble up really quick. Um, now the next kind of fish is gonna be a really important lean fish. These are called capelin. Now capelin is a really common species to feed. We feed it to our turtles, our otters, even our pelicans. These are really good lean fish. These are their protein. Just like you have to have protein in your diet. And then we have one really big type of fish. Let's see if I have one. These right here are called herring. This is another really good fish for their diet. So just like us, they have to have a well-balanced diet. They have to have good lean fish. They have to have uh, maybe sometimes fatty fish in their diet. So making sure that they're getting all the calories that they need in a variety of different types of fish. 
You can see here I have a hope bucket and a winter bucket. So each diet and calorie amount is specific to each individual animal. Uh, so no, no diet is the same, just like for you and me, we eat different types of things. Um, so for them, uh, it's weighed out specifically to their diet and it does come in. Um, we have a extremely large fish freezer uh, that all of that fish comes in and gets delivered in. So we have a lot of fish and seafood that does come through our doors for all of our animals. Thank you, Julia. That was awesome. Thank you, Hope. Thank you, Winter. Thank you all for tuning in today. Come see us at Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Check us out on seawinter.com. We are a nonprofit focused on the rescue, rehab, and release of marine life. This weekend for a month starts Reptile Palooza. Not only can you see our, our dolphins, but you can see our other animals as well, our pelicans, our turtles, and some special reptiles that we're bringing in. And also, of course, Wally and Cooper. Thank you so much.